Hello Kules, welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting update. We start with Leeds United winger Rafinha, as it has been reported that Leeds United may demand 80 million euros for Barcelona link forward Rafinha. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, we are going to be talking about Francisco Trincao, as it has been reported that Trincao is ready to take a pay cut in order to force a move to Sporting Lisbon. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do well to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, if you're just coming across this channel for the very first time, you're very welcome. Also consider giving this video a like and watch the video right up to the very end. Huddled by financial hardships, Barcelona have had to endure a few rusty weeks. It appears their current financial crisis has crippled their pursuit of several top targets, including Rafinha. So, a recent report from the Athletics have now offered another damning report on Barcelona's warning prospect of signing the forward. The highly reliable Leeds United correspondent claims the Whites are sympathetic to Rafinha's desire to leave Elan Road in the summer. But with the forward still having two years remaining on his current contract, Leeds will not let him, or they say they will not sell him on a cut price deal. With the club also retaining its, you know, its top flight status, they are expected to demand around the range of 70 to 80 million euros for the attacker. Barcelona had that option of signing Rafinha for just 25 million euros. We quite remember if Leeds had gotten relegated to the championship in England, but as fate would have it, it was the Brazilian himself whose goal help Leeds remain in the Premier League. What an irony that was. So Barcelona as a result will now have to cough up a big money to sign the former Ryan Staller. With Barca on the verge of losing Usman Dembele on a free transfer, Rafinha had been identified as the ideal replacement for the explosive Frenchman. But with Leeds United holding out for a staggering, I mean staggering price tag of 80 million euros, signing that guy to be honest, it's next to impossible for us amid our ongoing financial crisis. So Barcelona though are expected to put their negotiation skill to good use and perhaps include a few fringe players in that deal in an attempt to lower that cost of the operation. Of course, we've been hearing the likes of Oscar Mingueza and Sejino, uh, sorry, I think, yeah, Sejino Death, I think, have been muted as well. Um, Potential make weight in that deal, although it remains to be seen how much they can possibly fetch in the coming summer. Then on to the next story of discussion. Francisco Trincao and Sporting Club de Portugal are doing all they can to make a deal happen this summer. Barcelona wants to find a new home for the winger, with Wolves not wanting to take up their 30 million euro buy option on the player. Barca are open to Trincao returning to Portugal and would prefer a permanent transfer, although that's proving difficult given Sporting's financial position and the fees involved. So they have asked for a loan with an option to buy. To help the operation, Trincao is ready to drop his salary because Barca wants Sporting to pay it all. The Portugal international wants to return to his homeland after failing to explode in the English league. He knows he won't get many minutes at Barca either. Sp um, Sporting, uh, of course, you know, doing what they can and, you know, have also up their offer, they would pay a small amount of the loan and are prepared to raise the buy option from 15 to 20 million euros, according to Ebola. In principle, the option will not be obligatory. Barca cannot accept 15 million euros because it would compute as losses. And in Trincao's case, it could be a mistake because he's a young player with a big future despite a difficult two years so in fact Barca have a lot of faith in him no doubt and there are some of the club who would like to see him do pre-season with Javi um, with Javi side and if Usman Dembele leave and no one else is signed even stick around for the 2022-23 campaign so guys with that we have come to an end of this episode thanks a lot for watching hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe if you haven't please make sure to do so so you always stay up to date with the latest NFC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, it's bye for now.